Back like we never left, BDA, man. And right now, I'm about to react to the Supernova Showdown. Law vs. Blaine on Man's Challenge. Now, we had a discussion on a live stream about Law, Law's powers. The OP OP no me versus the door door no me. And, um, I, of course, I stated that the OP OP no me is superior to the door door no me. But now, now it's turned into Law versus Blaine as far as the fighters, which I think is laughable, honestly. But um let's 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 react and respond to this video. Let's go. Generation of fighters, okay. Supernova showdown. It's kinda dope. This is this is really awesome by the way. We got Manga Bros, Stan User, got One Piece Nation. Simply Rose, anime dude. This is so good. Anime show. Legend Mac. Random anime. Master J202. Bluno versus Trafalgar Lock. One, two, three. Fight, 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 fight. This is very well, this is very well done. <laughs> Bravo, bravo, bravo. Yep. Mm. Yes, I do. I'm not. See, unlike Bob, Luno is a serious character. How is Law not a serious character? Every time we've seen Law, this guy is about his business. Please tell me how Law is not a serious character. Hmm. He came here, he's not playing. Luno is an unstoppable character, and Law is an imaginary character. What? Law? How is Bluno unstoppable and Law imaginary? Please explain that to me, Master J. He has all these powers, all these what if powers, like what if Law decided to do this in his room or that? He would be unstoppable within his room. Well, guess what? That what if powers? Law has a lot of what if powers. Hmm. Okay. The space powers. They make the perfect matchup for this video. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Three times skip, we saw Blue Feet going against Bluno. That's when Bluno was first introduced for the most part. We did. And Bluno was wrecking Luffy, but then. Stop that. Bluno was not wrecking Luffy. I think you need to go back and watch that clip, sir. He attempted a lot of stuff. Even in the manga, I mean, the, the anime did have a lot of filler. Which Bluna was, you know, showcasing his techniques. In the manga, he really didn't do anything. He didn't get any hits. And the only thing he did was put that door in Luffy's face, which reverted back after, like, five seconds. Which is pointless, by the way. But let's continue. He pulled out gear second. And secretly, he had gear third just in case. Bluno didn't go down. And guess what? Bluno... That gear second was the first time we ever saw gear second. So this was experimental. Luffy had no idea how to control this, but he used it on Bluno. So Bluno was essentially a test dummy, right? Destroyed, but he still took that last punch to the fact that Luffy thought, dang, I guess my gear second wasn't strong enough. I have Again, this is the first time I've seen gear second. That's something that he probably won't think about when it comes down to a Luffy ball fight. Bluno essentially got one-shotted by Luffy, right? He took an experimental gear second punch. Do you think Law is going down with an experimental gear second punch? Did fight during that filler with the pedo pedo <sighs> Law wasn't under the dude's control. We talking filler now? Okay. Secretly under control, he was just pretending. Wait, wait, so Law wasn't on his control. He was just pretending to be, on his, be under his his control. Dang. That boy's a beast. He was controlling. He couldn't use his full powers because he wasn't in control of his powers at the time. Luffy was. Then he would have destroyed Law easily. Okay. Um, I think you need to go back and watch that fight, sir. Um, <laughs> clearly, the whole fight, Law was basically planning a way to escape. And if... Um, I, I can't remember correctly. Luffy's a hand-to-hand -hand 
combat fighter, right? Law is a sportsman, right? And Law was definitely holding his own in that fight. It was not a one-sided fight at all. Even to the point where the goddamn, um, whatever you call it, the dugong had to jump in front of Luffy because Luffy was kind of getting that work. They were going at it and they were trading blows. It was not a one-sided fight, even though Luffy is a superior hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter, supposedly. So let's stop with that. The fact that you're saying Law is a weak character is like, I, like I can't even like really. Law is a weak character, okay? So if the tables were turned during that Bluno Luffy fight, and it was Bluno versus Law, it wouldn't be as physical. And now all those downfalls that took Bluno out of the game would never have happened. The downfall that took Bluno out of the game was that he's a weak character. That was it. He was a bum. Law would have been a strategic fighter. He would have been using his, the distance between each other to his advantage, so he never really has to get close. <laughs> except for whenever he's going to do a serious attack. Mm. Let's do some big damage. But Bluno's smart enough because he's an even more strategic fighter. How is Bluno a more strategic fighter? Bluno showcased nothing to show that he's a strategic fighter. Like, Bluno <laughs> did nothing to show that he's a... <laughs> Why wouldn't he lose against another strategic fighter? I don't get that. They have more experience. But Bluno being old and being a CP9 member obviously has more experience than Law. Three times get most definitely. You think So because someone is older and they have more experience, that means as far as strategy, they're superior to one, right? So um if we go back through uh one piece fights and because Luffy had no, as far as experience, or we can talk about um, uh, Law, or Luffy versus Don Chin Zhao, right? Don Chin Zhao was older, he has more experience, but Luffy was able to beat him. Um, and if we talk about strategy, um, Captain Kuro is one of the fighters with the strongest IQ in the One Piece verse, and he got beaten. Strategy doesn't... I mean, it, it, even if you have strategy and you're saying because of experience you wouldn't lose to another strategic fighter, I, I think that's flawed because at the end of the day, it comes down to um, using your abilities in, in the right way. I mean, you could have more experience, but I think as far as Bluno and Law, there's no way Law is losing to Bluno. Bluno did, as far as strategy, what did Bluno do? Bluno went into his dimension and tried to sneak attack Luffy. You know what his strategy was? Was to get Luffy's foot stuck in the ground. That's <laughs> unbelievable strategy. Do everything in his room, but guess what? Bluno can jump out of the room anytime using the door. How else do you get out? You said Bluno can jump out of the room at any time, right? Um, Law's room could encompass that whole area. And it has been stated that the door door, it has to be relatively in close distance as far as um, coming out of that. So essentially, Bluno could jump out of the room and jump right back in, right? Hmm. That's that one ability that Law cannot make a window for. There's no loophole around it. Because guess what? The only window that can be in Law's room is the window that Bluno makes. Some people say that's the type of door. What? Bluno can do many things. Let's go into his abilities. Okay? Uh. I'm not going to be fair. This is my video. I'm not going to go I agree. I agree. Law's abilities to Bluno's abilities. No, you mentioned that you're not going to be fair because you realize that this isn't a fair matchup. Because Law's abilities clearly transcend whatever Bluno can do. But let's go on. Frog of the East has already showed that. He's already showed all those crappy awakening buildings and whatever. Crappy. And mess and all that. And gamma crappy. Gamma you don't care about that. Ah, you care about Bluno. Bluno? <laughs> Bluno only showcased a couple of those for the buildings and a bunch of Rokushiki techniques. So he's a Rokushiki master. Let's go. Bluno... His Rokushiki techniques paled in comparison to Jabra, Kaku, and Luchi, honestly. Again, his Doriki was 
820, that is less than half of what Rob Lucci was. And Luffy fought on par with Rob Lucci. And Law is right there with Luffy as far as power and total fighting capability. But yet, and still, you assume that Bluno, who is a fraction of the strength of Lucci, will have a chance against Law, who is one of these strongest supernovas. I don't get that. How, Sway? How? So on top of all that, he has his regular door, he can open any door anywhere, you know. Okay. Open the ground and make that into a door, he can open the person and make that into a door, he okay. can open the air to that into the door. Hmm. There's no balance on dimensions when it comes to Bluno. And that's, that's without the waking. So we're assuming Bluno is going to get an awakening now? What in the story leads you to believe that Bluno will ever have an awakening? This guy was the fourth strongest member of CP9. So that means his power, like this guy will not have an awakening, okay? This guy, and again, we're assuming that he's getting this power. This isn't stuff that we've seen. If he can open the air into another dimension without the awakening, that means with his awakening, you can go in there. Probably won't even need a door. Okay, so he has the door, the rotation techniques, and he has a revolving door where he basically, you know, flicks you and then your head spins around stuff. That revolving door is useless. It does nothing. It does nothing whatsoever. That's a useless technique. None of Law's techni techniques are useless. The revolving door, you know, all cool stuff. But those were just frivolous moves that he used against what he thought at the time was a frivolous character. He just so he didn't be, he wasn't serious. Obviously, Bluno has more intact. Okay, he has more in store. In an awakening mode, Bluno can easily open door. Are we going to include awakening in all this right now? Or are we going to say that, assume what a character's awakening can do? Because if we're doing that, and assume what a character's awakening can possibly do, <laughs> this is more one sided than I first thought. Starting, here's my thing. You would think Bruno's flawed. He even says on the wiki, oh, Bruno's flawed because, oh, he has to uh, touch the area he wants to open, and then he has to go through it. It's not like he can just teleport right in there. Yes, he can. He has so, it's saying that Bruno has to touch the air to open this door, right? So, Law and Law's room... Law can teleport. That has been shown. In Law's room, no one is faster than Law once he gets his room. Now, Bluno has to touch the air to escape. Now, please tell me how Bluno can escape Law in his room. Kiki, an airwalk. So basically, he's fast enough. So one, let me say, if you want to open an air door, okay? He kicks back with his heel, touches the portion of air he wants to go through. Okay, so that already opens the door by kicking back his heel. And he could just continue flying backwards since he already kicked back with, with his heel and opened the door. He can continue just flying backwards through the door. But since he has the air walk, he just does the 10 steps on the ground and he flies back. So now we're making up stuff that Luna can do now? We haven't seen that. And instead, he has to open the air. And from what we've seen, his um, powers are pretty pedestrian. Really, there were, he did, like his door door to me was absolutely useless other than hiding and possible infiltration. But he, he didn't use it at all. So this is us assuming that Bluna will be able to do these things when he hasn't done it at all. So I guess I can assume that Law can do things with his OP OP no me, right? Okay through the door and now he teleported and it's like late you know it was like that he's gone it's actual teleportation so you're saying this this is what's happening here Bluno we're anticipating teleportation right and we're hoping that he will be eventually be able to teleport but Law's already shown that hmm okay I think what he's going to do is he's going to have automatic doors with this week. And I scratch that. Because when we say awakenings, there's so many.
It's just like there would be a, a next stage of abilities. But with Bruno, we haven't seen his first stage. Okay, we've just seen that he opens doors. So why could he not have automatic opening doors where he doesn't have to touch the area he wants to be a door? You know, it would just be already be a door that would open open automatically whenever he wants that area to open. We haven't seen that's it. something he can, he can do without an awakening. So that's we, still we haven't seen it. Okay. Not to mention, along with those automatic doors, he can make trap doors. He can make multiple doors at a time. Okay. And with those multiple doors, like I've already said, windows, doors, mirrors, they're all doors in some sort of way you can think. Okay. So what if he just used like a hall of mirrors type of where he covers his whole surroundings with mirrors or doors, whatever. Those are all habits. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to use his hall of mirrors so whenever like Luffy uses all his physical attacks and tries to punch through, he will try to hit the doors and then he'll go through one door come out the other. He can go behind him, that way he's not getting affected. Or he can maybe open another door behind Luffy so he punches through the door and it comes out behind him and knocks Luffy out. Now, <laughs> that's funny because Blano... He lost to a simplistic uh, fighter like Luffy, which doesn't use much strategy at all. He lost to him because he he didn't show any strategy. I mean, as far as that, that's something that he didn't show as far as him um, using different doors and then um, using different, different dimensions for Luffy to punch through and then um, Luffy punch himself. He didn't do that. But if he does do that, Law has shown, as far as his fighting capability and as far as his strategies, to be superior to Bluno. What I see happening... Is Bluno creating these doors and these dimensions? And remember, these doors are within Law's room. So what's stopping Law from using shambles on these doors and essentially having Bluno come through and hit himself or Law use these doors to his advantage? There's nothing stopping Law from using these doors to his advantage because it has been shown that someone else can go through that door. They can. So Law essentially could shambles um, one of those doors because he's clearly superior as a fighter to Blano. Blano jumps out the wrong door, messed. Takes his heart, and that, that, then it's done. Right? Or comes through that door, radio knife, gamma knife, either one, counter shock. And Blano, he couldn't withstand an experimental gear second punch from Luffy. Gear second punch. Experimental pre-time skip. And if we're talking about awakening, this is clearly post-time skip. Come on, Master J. Do you really think Blano has a chance against Law? Do you really think so? Nah. <laughs> Physical attacks. When it comes to Law, yeah, Law's not gonna be that stupid. Guess what? Good point. Law's gonna be jumping around his room like, oh man, I don't know what I can do physically against this dude. And whenever he goes for an opening, Luno's gonna pull out an armored door. We have not seen an armored door. Um, like, <laughs> and even if he pulls out an armored door, Bluno's arm in hockey. Um, we're basing this, I'm not sure if we're using pre-time skip or post-time skip because we keep going back and forth here, Master J. We keep going back and forth here, but Blano, his, his, his arm in hockey, it's not close to Virgo, right? It's not close to Virgo. I know you see where I'm going with this, but let's continue. Hockey on the door, not on itself, on a physical place, a barrier, creating a barrier in front and inside wherever he wants. Okay, basically, now we can say he has the door to go through. Since he can go through the air and be invisible, he has the invisibility through. Okay, two double fruits in person. And he has the barrier No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's, let's, let's not give this guy, you say he has the invisibility fruit. So then, <laughs> so then we can just add fruits to Law's powers then, because Law has a wide array of things that he can do with his powers. We can just add that 
No, he has the door, door, no me, which all you can do is go to another dimension and hide there until you're ready to come out. Because it has been stated again, the door, door, no me is one of the most useless devil fruits as far as fighting. It had the door, door, me is one of the devil fruits where you cannot kill someone with that devil fruit. You cannot physically hurt anyone with your devil fruit. So as far as devil fruit powers, it's one of the weakest devil fruits in the One Piece verse. Yes, as far as infiltration, um, hiding and running, it is very unbelievable. It is spectacular if, if, as far as usage in that way. But as far as hurting your opponent or in a one-on-one -on -one fight, it's pretty useless other than going through the dimensions and trying to um, come behind someone or hit someone. It's, it's, it's not that great uh, it's at all. And that has been stated. So once he does those three things, he has three different devil fruit types. Bluno's already defeating love. Bluno's already one of the most OP characters now by having Bluno wasn't even one of the most OP characters on CP9. Three different devil fruit types. He can have some sort of trip mine type door, okay? You know, just a portion of a door in front of somebody so that if they trip on that door or whatever, it's going to be visible because it'll be the air door. Once they trip on that door, he'll notice it. And now it kind of like activates his observation hockey. You know, he can... Brandon must have shown that Blano has observation hockey. Blano does not have observation hockey. I don't, I don't know. We assume he's going to get it. Are we doing that? Probably be able to review that observation hockey onto the door. It's just like Zoro embeds the Arnett hockey. Don't compare Zoro to this man. Don't mention Zoro in the same sentence with Blano, bro. Sorry. Why couldn't he do that with observation or Arnett on his door? Luno's overpowered. Luno's not overpowered. He got demolished by Luffy pretty much one gear second punch. He's not overpowered, bro. He's defeating Law of Faces. Law has nothing. Okay, you know, there's nothing. I'm Law has nothing, but he has mass counter shot, gum knife, radio knife, um, teleportation, uh, shambles. Law has nothing? I'm gonna go through the rest of these different things that Bruno can do, okay? I mean, there's everything. You know what I'm saying? Can, I mean, yeah, his, his weaknesses so far have been seen to be overwhelming speed and overwhelming power or whatnot. But Law can't. He's shown a lot more weaknesses than that. He's shown a weakness to just anybody, honestly, because he got overwhelmed by Luffy pre time skip for the gear second punch. I'm gonna keep reiterating that because it's true. And come on, you're not telling me that this guy has a chance against Law. Who's, as far as the strength, is pretty close to Luffy's. They're very um, close in strength. And Luffy took out someone that is twice, more than twice as strong as this guy. And come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, son. Chance because he always has to use those freaking hand gestures, as it's been said in Brock Diaz's awakening theory of the Opio Me. So he's already. Now hand gestures right and what i said in my video is that that's one of the lord's weaknesses now without an awakening but since we're giving bruno an awakening or blano whatever law's awakening as i said in the video eventually he probably won't need to use hand gestures in his room and he probably won't need to create a room it will automatically be created and in his, in his proximity he could do whatever he wants with his powers and if we're giving blano or bruno his own new powers Law in his new dimension, with his awakening, will not need to use hand gestures or open a room. Anything within his close proximity, he can do any. He can do anything with it. So therefore, his trap doors, Law will be able to move, maneuver his trap doors for him because it's within his room. He controls whatever within his room, and because it's his awakening, he won't have a room. It'll be within his proximity. Does Bruno have a chance? The A twenty Doriki, Doriki guy. With the, the, the horns for here? Does he really have a chance? That Law has his flaws. And one flaw that he mentioned that defeats his whole theory of Law defeating Bluno is that Law, his biggest problem, no matter what you say, anybody who's going against Law in his room, if they're fast enough to escape that room at the last second of Law's <laughs> attack, then they're Gucci. They're good. The first thing and the obvious thing. Who is that? 
room. Oh, that's targets me within that room for the work. I can't hit him. First of all, Luffy was keeping up with Bruno um, pre time skip when he was using Soru. And um, Law is clearly, as far as in his room, Law has the utmost control in his room. Once his room is up, no one is faster in that room. So um, you can say that he would not hit him, but Bruno is not that fast. He, he, using Soru, you, Luffy was keeping up with him pre time skip. That makes Law useless against me. Okay. Law may control everything in his room. Yes. He twists it around, change it up. Yes. But only Bruno controls what passes through his doors. So what other way are you getting through a room? You, the only way you're escaping the room with, is with the door. Bruno is the sole key in defeating Law, evading Law's attacks. Now, what is stopping Law from using shambles on that door? What is stopping Law from switching Blano with something once he's about to enter that dimension? What is stopping B Law from, with a pebble, having a pebble right there, he's about to attack the pebble, then switches Blano when he's about to go into his door and annihilating this guy right on the spot? Defending against Law. Doors is not Law's friend. There is anything. Basically what I'm saying, Brago, is that... Mm. Theory's done. Ah. Laws defeated. Okay. Luminal one. Message J202 is overthrowing your plans once again. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Uh, okay. I kind of poked holes in, in all this um foolery, the uh, Bruno versus Law, because it's not even a good matchup. It's not even a, a fair matchup. Luno, again, 820 Doriki. Um, that was Rob Lucci, 4,000, I believe. Um, Kaku had like 2,200. Jobber was like a 2,000. And Bruno was down to 820. That's less than half of Jabra. Okay? This guy has no chance against law. All the things that you mentioned, I have poked holes in. And I've said that this guy would essentially get owned by law. Honestly, he, could, he would get one-shotted. Because once he tries to open a door, and we've seen it, that takes, it's not as quickly as you had presumed and as you had predicted. But if we're using, you know, your predictions and awakenings, and I'm going to use predictions and awakenings as well, Law is going to be, he's not going to have to use hand gestures. Whatever he wants to do, he will do it with his mind. With his mind. And switching, what, shambles on his door, playing over the pebble, and he's done. He has shown nothing as far as he's not superior to Law in any way. Maybe, I can't even say in defense because Law is extremely skilled. He will not get a hit in on Law. As far as strategist, Law has been shown to be a, a lot better in that case. So, what I'm saying, Master J, um, is that Bruno, I know you like Bruno and the door, door no me, and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't even compare it to the OPOP because... The first thing, and the, the, the huge flaw, it cannot hurt anyone as far as a double fruit, okay? So when he's going to get going against a top-tier guy, all he can really do is hide in his dimension, okay? But, um, so, so you know, let's just, let's just stop with all this, fool, all this foolishness. But honestly, guys, go check out Master J202. Obviously, he creates great stuff. Um, now, his argument, yeah, we're not, we're not going to touch on that, but... He has a great channel, man. The opening, the Super Supernova Showdown, that was amazing. Master Day 202, that's my boy. Um, always great stuff, man. But check his video out. But like I said, man, Law versus Bruno, Blano, whatever you want to call him. Not a, not, not a close matchup. Not a good fight at all. It's it's pretty much one-sided. But yeah, let me know what you thought. Let, you guys, let me know what you think. Bruno, Bruno versus Law, Blano versus Law. Do you think Blano has a chance based on what I said and what I poked holes in? But yeah, again, uh, like the video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. That'd be dope. And then go check out Master J202. Some good stuff there. Have a good day, people.